Today I'll show you how to install macOS Tahoe on any PC or laptop in an easy way. And this method will work for both until I'm AMD. You can see that I'm using macOS Tahoe on my AMD PC with a Ryzen 5 5600G processor and it's working perfectly fine. First, you need to download required files. Before that, you must generate your UFI. If you don't know how, I provide a video link in the description. Once UFI is ready, download Explorer++, Plus Plus, Mini Position Tool, Tahoe Image, and Refuse. All links are in the description. Before proceeding, make sure your BIOS is updated to the latest. Open Refuse. Select Tahoe image and drag and drop it to repose. Install a minimum 32 gigs USB drive and start the process. Before proceeding, remember to back up your USB because all data on the USB will be erased. Once done, install the mini partition tool and launch it. Then change the drive layer of your USB in this way. Next, run Explorer++ as administrator. Copy the EFA folder which one you generated earlier and paste it into EFA partition of your USB. Now create a new drive with at least 100 gigs in size and disk management. Right click on store menu, select disk management. Right click on any bigger drive, choose shrink volume, choose space at least 100 gigs, name it as Tahoe. Restart your PC and your BIOS. To enter the BIOS, you can follow this image or search in Google. Change required settings, save changes and exit from BIOS. Now in a boot menu, to enter the boot menu, you can follow this image or search on Google. Boot from USB, select install macOS Tahoe. Choose language, go to disk utility, select Tahoe Drive. Erase it in APFS format. Close the tool and proceed with installation. During installation, a PC will restore multiple times, and each time, you must boot from USB until installation is complete. After about 15 to 30 minutes, you will see Tau available in book menu. Select it to continue setup. Configure your language, region, internet. Choose my computer doesn't connect to internet. Once installed, open the install macOS Teho folder on desktop. Launch OpenCore Configurator, mount EV partition of your SSD, and the same way, you mount EFA of your USB. Keep them side by side like this, and copy EFA from USB to SSD. Choose Replace Existing Files. Now restore your Mac, boot into Windows, open CMD as administrator, run the provided command and reboot again. You'll now see that dual boot is working perfectly without the USB connected. You can directly boot into both macOS Teho and Windows on a PC. If you face any issue with boot, like dual boot not showing or unable to see without USB connected, then go to BIOS and change the boot priority to UFA open core and done. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.